Okay, looks like we're live. Hello, Mr. Brooks. How are you, mate? Hi, Ramsey. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah good. Uh, well, I was actually hoping to catch you before we went live. Actually, never mind. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you want to do you want to message me in the chat if there's anything? Yeah. Uh, in the uh, I'll, I'll, I'll the ping you on chat. Facebook. Ping me on Facebook. Oh, uh, just go. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, cool. Ooh. How is everyone? Uh, we are streaming. It's a couple of minutes before the show starts, so we're just getting set up. Um, you're hanging around, Brooksy, or? Uh, yeah, I can hang around to sort of th three o'clock, uh, so half past three. Then I'm gonna have to dash because family things happening later on. Oh, okay. We we probably won't be streaming that long. Um, I right, cool. I'm probably only going to commit to an hour and a bit today. Um, right, lovely. So I think you should be good. Okay. Um, yeah. It's uh, I I do apologise if I come across a little bit sort of. Uh, quiet tonight i um i've got a massive headache and i've just taken uh some ibuprofen hopefully that kicks in in a minute but uh yeah oh yeah it's only just yeah. sort of come on uh, i still have covid related crap going on it's uh of course it's annoying uh i just wish the little bugger would go away but uh no so it's all right Rans. i don't i don't need i don't need to message i've actually i've actually seen seen enough to know that you know, so. <laughs> oh, okay. I um, you you saw the show notes. Yeah. Did I? Sorry, I'm all a bit, bit of a blur. Okay, cool. Good, <laughs> I good. did. I, I I did. I'm honestly, I'm I'm like. All right. Uh, <laughs> it's like we're spe we're speaking riddles. Let's have it. Let's have a look at who's in the chat room so far. I don't think there's many. It's a very quiet chat room. But then again, technically, it's not even showing up on here yet. And I just want to make sure. That it definitely is the correct chat room or maybe it's scrolling off the screen it's weird it's all gray let me just uh, bring that back anyway um, I thought I'd copied the chat room into here oh yeah, yeah yeah there it is it's starting to show now it's just scrolled off the screen because I've got I think I've got it zoomed mm. in like this the you here I'll show you what I mean it's starting to show now. It's scrolling off the screen type thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so chatties are there. Um, when they sort of start appearing a bit more, with a bit more chat meat in there, we'll uh, <laughs> we'll um, we'll show them. Uh, it's about 10 minutes before the show officially starts, people. So give us a sec while we just get the video guests organized. I'm just going to set up the layers of this baby here. Uh, we always have synths and stuff in there. You probably think, why not? Let's have synths instead of people. <laughs> I mean, it's probably not a bad idea. I mean, who wants to look at my ugly mug? Um, okay, we've got guest one. Guest three. I think Ian's here. Good afternoon, Good everybody. Hi, Ian. Oh. How are you, mate? Hi, uh, Andy. I'm all right, Maisie. Oh, I am. A bit down, but we'll... Yeah, me too, mate. Me too. Um, for various reasons. But one pretty yeah. big one. Yeah. The answer is yes, um, Brooksy, to the Facebook message. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it'll be a decent one. Yes. Uh, like I said, to whoever's just joining us now, there's a bit about double the amount of people who've joined us. Very small amount. I haven't done any advertising other than just posting on YouTube, you know, hate my shows on Saturday at blah, 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 like it, like a good little chap. Um, I usually go into Facebook and do that, and I'm kind of interested to see how, I don't know, how f YouTube just does its job. I mean, there's supposed to be something like 17,000 subscribers on this channel. I technically shouldn't have to go into Facebook and advertise my show, right? Other than if you want to grab new people, and you know, people that I haven't heard of you. But um, yeah, anyway, see what happens. Tell your friends. <laughs> You're muted, my friend. Hang on. I can hear you now. Is that better? Mm-hmm. Good. Uh, I take it you don't do Facebook adverts. No, I mean this channel doesn't. No. What do I make? Yeah, no. I, 
a hundred and sixty bucks a year and make off YouTube. Yeah, I have used them in the past. <laughs> they're, they're, There's no money. <laughs> they're, they're, quite, they're quite cheap, but they're 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 a bit sp sporadic. I would say in terms of mm. you, know, you can't you know. There's no guarantee to how many how many people will see your advert. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, there's some nice memes, and I and I've got guys have just posted some memes in Discord. I'm going to use some of those for next week. So I've already got a heap of memes for today. So we're we're pretty fat and happy. But though the ones that are in Discord, I'll I will use some of those for next week. Some of them may be using tonight. So who knows? <laughs> Here we go. Um, yeah. We're going to have a bit of a roller coaster road of a show today. A roller coaster road of emotions, I think, is probably the best way to describe it. So, um, I want to keep it all uh, as normal as I can, but when we need to, we'll be respectful and everything. Um, and that news is obviously going to come out in the news section. So, most people know what that news is. Uh, but, ah, geez, it's been a, a bit of a crap last couple of days. Um, in that sense and uh, I don't know I kind of we've talked about this before with other people that have, have left I kind of want to feel like let's celebrate it I mean it's not disrespectful to celebrate somebody uh, no I think it's exactly. it's honorable to celebrate somebody so mm. I whilst I'm sad um, I definitely want to celebrate this person. So we'll definitely be doing that in uh, very soon. The show's only going to start in about seven minutes. So once we cook into that, we'll be able to uh, get into the new segment and talk about him. Okay. Um, <clears throat> right. What have we looked? Seven minutes to go. Uh, I think the chatties are now fulsome in the chat room. So we've got, what, 20 people in the chat room, according to YouTube? Um, mm -hmm. I never kind of believe. I don't trust those numbers. It feels like there's more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cresshead's there. Big hello to you, mate. Prometheus UK. Martin Taylor. Lady Aptitude. Gorilla. Gorilla AU from Victoria, Australia. Welcome, mate. Nice of you to stay up late for us. What is it over there? It's probably what uh, nine o'clock plus three, midnight. Almost. Wow. That's a, that's a late one for you. Neil Wharton, uh, ASIO head, Wagoo, 47. Tell us what 47 means. Is it the me is it the meaning of life or <laughs> wasn't that 80? That was 48, was that? wasn't it? <laughs> was it 48? Uh, I, f I thought it was... Um, 42. Sorry, 42. not 42. Yeah. 40, 42. Yeah, 42. The meaning of life plus, plus uh, some... Um, and it's also nice to see who else gets here. Good to see Git. Um, who else? I think that's it so far. Oh, no, uh, Chris is here. He's probably Chris. You can join us on um, uh, this thing, Streamyard. No, that's not it. That's my chat link. Let me get the Streamyard link. Uh, StreamYard, for those people who are playing along at home, is a video and audio <laughs> conferencing tool that you may join and be part of the show with. Um, <laughs> Slick. There it is. Very, okay. Very. Who did I get up to? Um, Marcus, big hello to you, mate. Really nice to see you. Uh, Marcus is a long time uh, lurker and uh, person who's, uh, I think he's from, from Athens in Greece. So it's nice to have him on the show. Um, I have noticed that a few what? people have come back and haven't seen them for a while. So it's kind of, it's humbling. It's just seeing all that. It's humbling. We've got two two more video spots to fill and we've got five minutes to go before the show starts. So hang in there, people. This is riveting stuff. But technically, we haven't actually started the show yet. Um, yeah. yeah. I've got you chatties in the corner. You, cuss. you should be feeling nice about it. Um, Chris, you can join us, as I said, on um, StreamYard. And whoever else wants to join us on StreamYard can join us on StreamYard. I've just posted the link publicly. Someone out there 
on YouTube who's watching the show thinking, what the, can click on that link and join. Just like Darren did just then. You see that? That way. Darren, slap. Let's slap Darren. Slap. <laughs> Wrong way. <laughs> Hi, Darren. Uh, how are you, Darren? Hey, and hi, Andy. Uh, Rams, can you hear me? We can, mate. It's yeah, all good. Hi, Darren. It's all very, very good. Uh, Chris is coming on StreamYard. Steve's there. Big hello to Steve, who's joined us in the chat. Um, I think I've said hello to everyone else. That's good. And, we're, and um, obviously, uh, the other Andy will be with us um, once he's had his pancakes and three cups of coffee and gotten over the fact Can that you it's move 5 a.m. You've moved your I'm camera. Sure. You definitely have moved your camera. Oh, it's moved the camera. It's in the same same spot, but it's uh, higher up. Yeah. There's this famous um, character in Australian television called Dickie Knee, and it's just it was on this. Uh, it was just this <laughs> hat that was on like a like a I think it was a broomstick, and all they showed was the hat with some mop hair underneath it, and it would like had this annoying voice, and so you'd see the top of the hat. You wouldn't see the face or anything, and it would move around. You see the hair sort of flop about, and it's an annoying voice. And Darren at the moment looks a bit like Dicky Nick because he's. <laughs> he's a... Are you saying I've got an annoying voice? <laughs> oh, yeah. You went there, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> right. So you're number two, and you want to go left a bit. There, and you want to go up a bit. I don't think I can do you up. Um... You don't need to see me up. I'm, I'm fine. At... I can always uh, lower the... Sit on the cushion. Yeah. Yes, sit on lower a cushion. The... That's just angle. That's all right there, isn't it? Oh, that's good. Happy with that. That's good. Oh, yeah. oh, it's perfectly centred. Nice backdrop. Yeah. I mean, I'm not yeah. even perfectly centred. You know? I, mean, I feel sort of a bit to one yeah. side now. We're all kind of... Our OCD is kick, killing yeah. us now. I'm going to have to move <laughs> over a bit. <laughs> and it's got to be... Right. Get me left and right mixed up. You see, cats in my face. That's even better. Yeah. That's... People who have just joined us, are like, what are these like old farts doing? <laughs> They're just playing with cameras and talking about. Sorry, you, I thought this was supposed to be a synth. Show. <laughs> That's some synth. Uh, synth in the background. We've got synth everywhere. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, hang on. I'll fix their. Uh, let's just fix them. There we go. Have a look at some neurorack for a little while. Okay, enough of that. Oh. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who else has joined us? Your name here is back. Nice to see you, mate. And Ben's there. Good to see you, Ben. Yeah, your name here. That's a, that's a good name, isn't it? Your Every name. single time yeah. we, that I see his nick, I always think of that <laughs> Top Gear show, Top Gear or whatever it's called now on uh, Amazon. Amazon Prime. What do they call it on Amazon Prime? Something else. Oh, Grand Tour Amazon or something? Yeah, Grand Tour. Grand Tour. Yeah. 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 Oh, I, I noticed. And then I'll own it. Speaking of um, Jeremy Clarkson, because we just did, uh, I noticed that he's got the Farm series number two out, just started on Amazon Prime. If you enjoyed the series yes. one. Yes. Yes. So is it worth watching series one? I don't like Jeremy oh, Clarkson. If you don't like Jeremy Clarkson, don't watch it, because it's oh. very Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> <laughs> it's very Yorkshire-y. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with yorkshire but he's not from Yorkshire. Well, I thought he was. Yeah, and it's not... It's no, he's not Yorkshire. No, he's not. no I <laughs> thought he was from Yorkshire because he keeps saying he's from Yorkshire. He, he's from Doncaster, Ian. Oh, he was born no, in Doncaster. Yeah, Jeremy Clarkson, South Pass, not where he's We've disowned him. We've disowned him. No, his farm's not he's in Yorkshire. <laughs> no, his farm. Oh, you don't. Oh, you don't want him to be right. Oh, okay. No, he, we we, right. we, we okay. disowned him when he started punching producers. <laughs> Oops, <allegedly. laughs> That's why he lost the job, though, isn't it? That's why the BBC yeah, gave him the boot. Yeah. G'day, Jeremy. I I don't mind him. Look, I I think he's he. It's a lot of just showmanship, you know. Like okay, I, I, yes, I think yeah. he probably has a heart of gold underneath there. It's a lot of showmanship. No, so he's, no, he's not. Is he sorry? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 conservative fans. Fair enough. I haven't met. Anyway, I've never met the man anymore, but... anyway because he's been cancelled anyway from Amazon. So hey, we should start the show. We should start the show because it's hit the hour, and I like to press buttons, and I think this one should work. Yes, it's a show about synths and geeks. Voiceover man extraordinaire. Now, don't look at me. We're going to go to this view, and 
Everyone's here. Yes, that's it. Synth Geekery, episode number 192. We are encroaching on a millennial type number soon. About eight episodes to go. Mm. So, what are we going to do for that? Who knows? It's still eight episodes away, so let's not worry about it for now. I can't even believe we've done 192. Mm. Um, someone tell me to stop, and I will promise. <laughs> How are nah, you guys? You right. good? Right. See you, Rams. Yeah. See everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go that way. Where's he going? <laughs> uh. You all good? Everyone happy? We'll start with uh, mm. Darren. Darren, Look. just as you moved your head. How are you, mate? Fans. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, not bad, not, not bad at all. Uh, yeah, good, fine. Um, not much to report, really. Uh, there'll be a track out tomorrow. I'll get that in first of all. Um, following on the, the sort of tracks that I've been doing the the past couple with the uh, Gravity Deep, so I think it's uh, tomorrow's Sonar Deep. So, uh, yeah. Other than that, working with Purple One, and yeah, not much. <laughs> oh, uh, watching that the Black Pill. Um, uh, yeah, that is terrible. That is very, very hard. <laughs> That's a strain. So I suppose in a way you could say, yeah, the week's been quite, quite stressful. <laughs> um, but other than that, yeah, everything's uh, okay. Things are coming along well on both albums. Um, and yeah, just generally work in studio. Awesome. That's good. That's good. Plodding along is, is the theme of the day for you. Let's Let's call it that, okay? Plodding along. You happy with that? Yeah, 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 you could say plodding along. Yeah. Plodding along, nice, to, nice to know. I think Ian's next because I have to skip the black screen of uh, okay. Andy. How are you, mate? I'm good. Yeah, uh, like I say, up until last night, I, had a, I was having a good week. Um, my cassette turned up from this album that I played on, um, and, oh, and, and this is the Ryan Sherlow. Um, what's it called? All Star University Volume One. Um, apparently, oh, yeah. I'm all over it, but. Um, and Ryan doesn't show me the cassette actually plays. I'm never going to play the cassette, but you know, um, you buy it on Bandcamp and you get a download, which is great. Um, bargain found this in uh, the local charity shop oh. uh, for three quid. Wow, which That's I thought was one. a bit of a bargain. Uh, it only came out in 2020, apparently. Really? Yeah. He looks. Yeah, right. He looks pretty young on that cover. Yeah. Unless it's a reprint. Uh, yeah, 2020. Wow. I anyway. thought it was a lot older than that. Um, and I started, I was working last night. Um, that's why I missed PSN and I missed I missed um, the uh, Blackpool Emon, but I've been watching a bit of it this morning because I've started working on an album with a, a friend of mine. We first did, we did an album in 2016, my mate Dave Martin, and we've been talking about doing getting together and actually starting this album for well over years really uh, anyway we started it last night for about four hours so we've done some recording which will then be messed around with really <laughs> i think that's the only way to describe it so uh, nice what were you but yeah of, no that's it what were you doing what was your part my part was uh, i was playing um uh, hydrosynth uh sledge and uh instrument he's playing guitar Wow, uh, and we we used a very basic drum track, but all the drum tracks were replaced by me at some point. Um, and it was it was improvised. So, yeah. like I said, we played, we recorded everything. Some of it will never see the light of day, but uh, we we certainly felt we we got enough out of the session for it to be you know, there's a good starting point there, really. Yeah, and it may be it may not, the album may not come out till next year because you know we don't like to rush these things really. It's taken us this long to get back together from 2016. So yeah, right. You know, when you're recording, do you do you? Need, oh, I mean, obviously you're recording the audio, but do you also record the MIDI at the same time? Uh, we didn't do anything. Actually, we were meant to. I was, I was, I was meant. I actually set it up so that uh, the drum machine. We didn't end up end up using any sequences because for some reason, um, the MIDI wasn't working through from the drum machine through. And I, I thought, well, I can't. We can't spend an hour sorting this. This stuff out. The daft thing is, isn't it? You, two days ago, checked everything. Everything's working fine. Come to actually use it. Can't get can't get the MIDI to work through the, for the sequences. So we just did uh, we just did a basic drum track, uh, and and like I say, I recorded. <coughs> excuse me, I recorded everything live. So we didn't record any MIDI. Um, with, there'll be some MIDI on it because I'll probably do that with you know uh, in post production sort of. Really. 
Nice. Yeah. Nice. And you were saying before that you, you're going to sort of fix up the drums uh, later. Yeah, I'm going to replace them. Yeah. Um, I, I it, kind it was of, just a basic track. I'm, I'm struggling with drums at the moment because I, I have no drumming in me at all. I mean, I, yeah, we won't, we won't go there. But um, do you have any tips for drums? I mean, actually, the early part of the week, I spent. Um, uh, I was trying. Um, I'm, I've also been. We're looking at sort of getting a, a, a sort of eighty synth band together, and I started learning. <laughs> I started programming the drums for Aha's Take on Me. Yeah. And it took me a whole night. Uh, mm -hmm. So I have absolutely mm -hmm. no tips. Uh, I felt I felt so inadequate on because this was on this Roland TR8S. Um, I felt so inadequate. I've actually signed up for Roland's free advanced uh trs8 course which i'm doing next week for oh, two wow. hours um yeah i mean I, I didn't know they did that i just lo i was looking i thought i need to do something that you know i know the basics mm. but they, they do a two uh a two hour i think it must be on zoom or through web some sort of web thing anyway you sign up for free and i'll let you know we get i'll get on really but yeah. um is it just for tr8 uh, yeah. is it they do other things as well so that it's i don't I don't know if you need a roll. I have got a Rolling Cloud account, but I don't use it. I just well, I've got literally a signed cloud. up. Mm. Um, um, and they said about registering your stuff, but I, I, unless I've, I don't think I've, I might have registered the TRS8 before, but I literally just went on, give my email address, and I was signed up for it, you know. So Fantastic. if it's not next week, it's the week after. It's, it's, it's certainly coming up. Oh, yeah. Let us yeah. know about that. But That's no, I have no tips at all because I am rubbish at drum programming. <laughs> And I always have been. You know. I feel I feel a little bit better. I feel a little bit better because yeah. I'm, I'm I did, feeling I it. did buy I did buy I bought a couple of books in the last six months. One of them is from the eighties and it's got literally loads and loads of drum program patterns in, which is actually mm. quite useful actually. Yeah. Um so I've got that. And then I bought this tiny little little book about that big. Which is just it's from it is, again it's from the eighties, but was completely useless. So uh but there is a there's a programming book. I think it's just called Drum Programming, which I bought off Amazon for about five quid, something like that. Yeah, and it's and it's got lots of it is just full of patterns. There's there's no tips, just literally full of patterns, different types of gen genres, um, and so it's it's certainly worth having. Is that? Yeah, I, I kind of did a similar thing where I uh, not not buy a book, but I did a a similar thing where I got a whole bunch of. Um, I went onto the Ableton website and they've got all these packs that you can download and yeah. there's some really interesting drum, you know, drum loops and drum tricks and all the sort of drum stuff. And I started looking at some of that and a lot of it is stuff that I just would never use in my sort of music. So, um, you know, completely not, not there, but there's some, there's some tidbits in there and it's kind of, it's cool because it gives you the MIDI and, yeah. um, you don't have to use their sounds with it so you can you know you can put it through an archeria drum brute or you can chuck it through uh an 808 or whatever you know so um mm. you can even use the rolling cloud stuff on it as well um so yeah i thought it was pretty cool so so you you, you wouldn't use bossa nova number three then would you not Is that what you're saying? <laughs> i actually that's the stuff that i like is chuck it on an old yamaha mm. organ and Get going with the, the foot pedals and do, do the chords. <laughs> Away we go. Brooksy, it's your turn. Hello. Is it? Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, not much to report. Um, right. Uh, yeah, it's a fairly quiet week back at work. That's been that's just been quite nice, that, to be honest. Um, uh, put up the video from the EMOM last week, the, sort of the Sheffield EMOM, whenever that was, 2nd of Feb. Uh, Dave Walker sent me the uh, a video of that, which he'd put together with a couple of cameras, which was really quite nice. Um, that went down quite well. I, was, I did that with uh, two two modular cases. That was the first time I've done that, um, which was a bit of a bit of an adventure. Uh, and I'm doing the Derby Emom next Thursday, so on Thursday I'm doing that. So I'm going to be, get the set ready for that. I think I think I might venture out with two cases again. Think about it. Think about it. Ooh. Um, yeah. Um, a basket case and a. No. A basket case. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> clearly, a slight, a slight minus. But I, I think I'm, I'm going to invest in the depth for 
a multi-core connector thing where you use to connect two cases together with an Ethernet cable. I think yeah. that looks like a sensible thing to do. So uh, all I have to do is plug that in, and that will minimise the faffing about. So if I order that today from uh, Elevator Sounds, it'll probably land on Monday or Tuesday. So because they're pretty quick. Yeah, they're pretty good. Then. So, yeah. Give them a plug. Yeah, they are. They're re- really good. Uh, I mean, that's that's my go-to modular shop now. Uh, I love, you get a little handwritten card with you know, this is a really great module. Oh, Try using nice. this with it, and you know, it's always it's always really yeah. lovely. Yeah. Uh, that's what, as soon as I got my first module from them, and that was in there, I thought, oh, there you go. That's it. I like that little personal touch. Definitely a definitely a good thing from them. So, and I'd I'd love I'd love to go down to Bristol and actually visit the shop itself because they have a. They have a physical shop. I mean, actually, Sonic State did a, uh, a visit on it, video. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, they were planning to do a mm-hmm. series. I don't know how far they've got with it, but it's, they definitely did elevator sounds in Bristol, which was really good. One of the most important modules that I have in my system, I bought from Elevator Sounds, and that's my Expert Sleepers ES8. Uh huh. Yeah. So, um, and those guys were the at the time. Those guys were the only guys that had them in stock. Uh, unless you, you know, wanted to buy something of someone for an unscrupulous amount of money. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> They're pretty good in prices too, so give them a plug. Definitely They're give good. them a plug. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Um, well, I didn't catch. Are available, but we like I didn't catch you off there, did I? You'd finished, haven't you? I can go across yeah, yeah, to. No, All right, no, I want to say good day to Chris, who's jumped onto Streamyard, and here he is here in all his glory. Hey, Chris. No, we got no sound. Oh. Good day, Chris. Take a drink. No sound, Mr. Chris. Hey, Chris. <laughs> Let's find out why we've got no sound. It could be my end. Let me just work out why we got no sound. Uh, okay, just let me check troubleshoot. It could be my end, mate. Don't don't panic just yet, because I may have forgotten to do something. Uh, whilst we work this out, we should play some elevator music. No. Um, <laughs> I don't da, think da, da, I usually that bossa nova would be would come in, wouldn't it? Right, right now. I didn't think I usually can. You need a mad cow on a piano. <laughs> you can, Chris. You can nod your head if you can hear me, right? I'll do the drums. Okay, cool. We sound in time. I'm not sure we are. Well. The wonders of the internet. It's jazz. It's jazz. Yeah. It's, jazz. <laughs> <laughs> it's the funny thing if someone never watched the show before. Yeah. I just I pressed the variation button then. Did you notice? Oh, no, I, I, can think, tell. I think I've sorted it. <laughs> I think I've sorted it. Hey. Chris, give us a talk. Hey. Yay. Oh, hello. Hey. Hi, everyone. Hi, Chris. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. Hi, everyone. Yeah. So, uh, did you have a question? You were asking me how my week was, weren't you? <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Um, yeah. No, uh, not a bad week. A um, bit stressy at work. A um, little bit of uh, tension there at work today, uh, this this week. So, um, but, other, but outside of work, um, pretty good week. Um, I've had some arrivals. My project, the GP82 printed circuit boards, have arrived. So we've got printed circuit boards. And I'll I'll show you the exciting bit because this came out better than I could have imagined. It's a Eurorack faceplate, everyone. Hooray. I do have a crowd sound somewhere. Uh, Okay, it's amazing to me. Have something. <laughs> no, no, no. Component, some components of a fitting, so I haven't completely stuffed it up. Yeah. Anyway, so that was fun because um, that's the first time I've ever done that. So that's just good fun. Um, I, I think I ordered some kit. Um, nothing big. Um, that will be coming. Hey. Rance has found the sound effects. Yeah, I had, I had to turn the channel on. <laughs> Careful, you might start getting copyright strikes from Robbie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had these sound effects um, before him, excuse me. Yeah, that's true. That's true. No, no. Um, apart from that, um, I've been going down the rabbit hole of pure data. I've been learning pure ah. data. So, um, ah. 
Ah, yes. Okay. I don't know if you people use pure data. Um, yeah, my um, Befico Lick um, supports um, pure data, and I've been trying to convert um, a uh, patch that I made in Patchbox over to pure data. So I've just been learning that and um, banging my head against various brick walls and uh, getting a little bit further and then finding out that a function that I was using it isn't supported in the leak, that particular one function. Yes. Um, people who know pure data will know it's the V-line function, um, which is apparently not supported. So that was a bit of a blow. I found that out last night after having spent the week writing a patch with it. So wow. back to the drawing board on that one. But still, no, learning pure data, um, you know, it's, it's not wasted time. You're learning a new skill, so that's all good. Um, I got parts for my next uh, Eurorack uh, case that I'm building. Um, so that's they came in this, this week, and I've been knocking away in the shed on those um, today. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much, pretty much it for me, I think. Um, I'll... Uh, Babe, back to you. Yes. Yeah, beautiful. I'm going to go straight over to Andy, who's joined us whilst you were there. Big hello to you, Andy. Hey, guys. You hear me okay? Hey, Andy. Andy. Yes, we can. Hey, sorry. Yeah, it's one of those nights I was working late on some stuff, and uh, I pulled the four Yorkshiremen. I got up half an hour before I went to bed. So. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, hey. just, I just downed a Starbucks double shot, and I'm, uh, I think I'm okay now. So. Toothpicks for the eyes. We'll be. We'll keep you awake. Yeah, yeah. we'll do it. I'll be all right. Thank you. Then. <clears throat> we'll play some Good more elevator here. music. <laughs> yeah. how's, how's your week been? Other than that, good. Uh, yeah, just busy. Um, nothing too eventful, music-wise. I did order, as usual, to find something online. I have to look at. So, do you guys know those um, um, Effectrix modules out of Canada? They're like hybrid sound effects modules for a uh, 19 inch rack. Very colorful, Sorry. have funny little buttons on them. Nope. They have the uh, filter factory, warp factory. Uh, there's one called MoFX. I don't think I have a MoFX, so I ordered a MoFX yesterday because it was damn cheap. But the filter factory and warp oh, factory are like there. secret weapons. Um, yeah, I'm sure. And they have some other ones too. Yeah, there's a, there's a loop one that's really cool that's rare. Um, they what have a couple they smaller again? ones too that aren't full. What was the name? Uh, Effectrix. Um, just look up Warp Factory and Filter Factory. You'll find it's one's red, one's green. Uh, tricks one's with an X or? Uh, yes, with an X. Yeah. FX Tricks. Effect 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 Tricks. Like FX. effects and then tricks. FX yeah. dot tricks. And uh, it's a, they still they can the company still exists in Canada, but they make some basic th like things that look like Ableton controllers and stuff now. But um, and they had some of the coolest boxes too. When you bought a product new or or, new, or old with the box, uh, it looked like uh, an amp box when you opened up the the, the wooden box. I mean the uh, the cardboard mm -hmm. box. Mm -hmm. So the packaging was cool. It's just kind of an interesting company um, out of Canada. And. Um, they're they're considered kind of secret weapons for um, um, like radio DJs and uh, people doing sound design and uh, part of the part of the cool thing about it is it has these momentary buttons stuff that doesn't normally have momentary buttons. right so you could be <clears throat> tapping stuff for for inputting things very quickly to uh, engage an effect that normally would be a dial or an on off kind of thing yeah. Okay, cool. So, so they haven't yeah, come. Just, they haven't come yet. But when they come, we'll have we'll check them out for you. I think because I I can't seem to bring yeah. anything up right now. It keeps coming up with some Nasdaq listed company. <laughs> Don't know what's going on. Oh, there. I'll put it. I'll I'll find. I'll put it in the chat for you. Okay, cool. I'll put a link in the chat. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, uh, I'm sure I remember that. Sure. We've got through everyone so far. But if anyone does else does, English is terrible today. If anyone else wants to join. There is the, uh, you can join, because at the moment, uh, Chris is feeling very lonely in StreamYard. You can join us on StreamYard. All you need is a webcam. Uh, usually that should do the trick. Um, he's sitting there in there looking at all the four corners of himself. Um, <clears throat> but do let us know if you have joined us so that I can keep an eye on that and add you in. Beautiful. Uh, we should hit the show by usual starting point is here. 
not there, there. The button moved on me. Yes, um, I didn't even need to make a meme out of this. All I had to do was no. literally just cut and paste what was on the screen <laughs> because it just sells itself. Oh, it's a lightweight Lord. desk. It's constructed from recycled aluminium rails and assembled with double-sided Formica birch plywood. It's their official workspace and it's now yours too for a good old song of a price of $15.99. Um, look... <laughs> It's like I think it's, I think it's truly it's, it's, what in the name? IKEA are having a laugh it, right now. Um, hey, why don't we why don't we stick to this theme and just go to this one? It's a kit, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. what everyone's thinking, exactly. right? <laughs> of course, yeah. 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 Um, let's keep on with this theme and go to. Uh, I think it's uh, Teenage Engineering's marketing department. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> 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 <coughs> All right, enough bashing teenage engineering. Oh. Oh, they deserve All it. All right, maybe one sure. more. Maybe one mm, more. So <laughs> mm. <clears throat> when you needed the couch and you spent your money on Sims. <laughs> that's, 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 that's Jim's house. <laughs> it is, yeah. That's brilliant, that, that, isn't it? That's actually Jim's house. That's that, nice that's case. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jim. Um, okay, no it's more. I've not seen him in the chat. Hi, no Jim. more bashing teenage engineering. I mind you, they might actually they might Why sell not? this for two thousand six hundred and ninety nine next week. Okay, what about this? Can we stop a second, though, Ranza? Just a second. That that table. I know. Is it actually real, or are they actually just taking the? Is is it? Do you think it's a joke, and they're going to reveal? Ha ha ha! We've all wound you up because you've been taking the Mickey out of us so much. Because <laughs> I have a feeling that that's <laughs> really I, the case. Nah. What do you think? think if you buy you one, cannot, it comes with a free OP one or something. <laughs> you can't. Sell yeah, well, and it's supposed to be like that. Aren't they making modular bits for it as well? Because it's a modular table. Is that what like they do at B and, and Q? <laughs> yeah. 15 quid well, here, here's the no, thing they are crazy. a designer company long before they made synths they were designers so you know how designers rip you yeah. off with jeans and fancy watches oh, and purses oh, yeah, and shoes so what's the difference really right we we have a furniture mm -hmm. shop here in Australia called Coco uh, Republic <laughs> you should go there and have a look at how much they charge exactly. for some of their stuff oh. right <clears throat> well let's sorry. let's go back okay <laughs> last beam is not that one it is this one, people. Let's get real with our memes. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that one yesterday, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Favourite meme of the week. Uh, it's got to be teenage engineering. I'm sorry, because it's yeah. just made me laugh all ever I since did. I saw it. <laughs> well, I know. Yeah, it was funny. Yes. Well, it's I even showed it to Jamie. <laughs> oh, yeah. I take my too seriously, don't I? You? <laughs> You're well, not really, but I mean, it's just you know, what what next? I'm looking forward to what they bring out next. Because it'll. Be I mean, so, it's fun to goof on them, but again, so, so many companies make bullshit and overcharge for it. So, yeah. You know, <laughs> if you maybe if you that's buy, next. Uh, yeah, if you buy Ralph Lauren, it's kind of expensive. If you buy Prada, it's even more expensive. And yeah. you know, some of the stuff can look similar and just overpriced crap i mean people spend that on their handbag yeah. don't they 1500 quid exactly yeah. mm. my girlfriend just wanted to buy a three thousand dollar purse i go are you insane <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> he went, i'm just gonna buy and you're, and you're still table. here <laughs> I'm, gonna buy, I'm gonna buy that table <laughs> <laughs> no i'm just wondering how are you still here andy <laughs> after you said that <laughs> Because, how, how did you survive uh, I'm, that? I'm not a whipping post, that's why. Oh. <laughs> I do put my foot down on occasion, so, yes. Now, I'm going to try and see if I can get Chris looking a little also, bit I'm more fancy. Also, I'm not married, so that, that helps. So. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm trying to get Chris looking a bit more fancy here. Let's go that way and get rid of that. Uh, bring him there. Why is the wire cropped? There we go. That's not crop any no, wire. Better. 
Oh, that'll do. Let's not be too pedantic. Chris, can you hear us? Good. <clears throat> You're good. Yeah, I can still hear. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, good. All right. Um, yeah. beautiful. Okay, let us know if there's anyone else joining the chat. Uh, you can't tell us that, but anyway, that's fine. In the chat is if you've clicked on the Streamyard link, do let us know. Um, by the way, speaking of chatties, I want to see what they said was their favourite. Um, Teenage Engineering looks like it's probably got the toast this week. Toast with a bit of marmalade. Um, geez, that it did have some legs, didn't it? I mean, that's probably a marketing <laughs> genius idea. <laughs> Literally. Well, it fall apart, yeah, but I was the table. Boom, boom, we do the jokes here. No press is bad press, yeah. right? That's what yeah, I say exactly, about teenage yeah. engineering. <laughs> <laughs> They're just pulling out all the brilliant products this year. Uh, I will never get anyone to show on this show. Do not worry. Uh, I am completely comfortable with that um, because, yeah. Probably like you guys, I just think it's completely stupid what they're doing at you the moment. You want to see what they're going to sell you to put on the table. Hmm. Well, oh, do you ever I see their lamp it. and their I speaker really wanna, that they have? I mean, they have... I want to embarrass know. someone. I, I really want to embarrass someone. I want to find out who bought that desk. I just I, Please give me a name. Someone, someone that we know. Did you buy that desk? Let me know. <laughs> because I just want to like... I just want to think, you know, I'm t right now I'm thinking, you know, the, the meme that I always show with the Lamborghini and the synths in the back seat, because that's the person that buys those desks, really. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, time sorry if it, it, it upsets you, but I don't care. <laughs> Fant fantastic. Right. Um, let's have some news. <laughs> what do I say? A fool and his money is easily parted. Just get your desk from oh. Ikea. What, don't be a little Scrooge. Why are we doing this in some weird order? Okay, I don't know why it's brought this one up first. Um, but okay, let's do it. Who cares? Um, <clears throat> I'm actually not even prepared to do this yet. Okay, we can do it. Okay, this is That's Darren's favourite company, Bastel. Casper Bastel, by the way, Darren. Um, <laughs> what is this? This is the um, Aikido. It's... Now, <clears throat> okay. We have shown... I reckon probably about three other similar sort of v uh, Euro rack products mm. recently. And I mm. hopefully you guys can back me up, but this is a VCA mixer. And it's the other people that we showed over the last few, few weeks before Christmas, after Christmas, whatever, we're doing similar things, right? This is a quad VCA mixer with the submix routing and two styles of integrated envelope followers. But what makes this kind of interesting is it's got um what do they call it uh uh normalized um no normalized patching underneath so you don't need to everything's you can follow the arrows down the bottom where you see the the matrix it's normalized so you don't necessarily need to patch this which is a very very cool thing and a lot of euro rack manufacturers should do normalizing we were talking about it i think a couple of weeks ago with another module um, i think it was the dual oscillator normalizing is a cool thing because the less yeah. patching you have to do the better for us, especially if it's an it's an obvious thing, right? It's something that you're doing inside that module. So hats off to Bastel for doing that. What is it? It's a clickless. It's got clickless mute switches uh, and level faders for immediate performability. While well, it's got a ten inverters on each channel, um, so it's a very very sort of flexible quad VCA. The main output mix is accompanied by individual VCA outputs with patch programmable cascading mix routing. And it's got side change, side chain envelope follower with three different response curves and a spectral follower that can that can focus on treble, mid or bass frequencies. So <clears throat> that's, that is it technically, but let's have a look. I said that I wasn't gonna show this video, but I'm actually thinking- Oh, the video's great. I'm it's thinking- superb. Why don't we show the video? It's I got mean, nothing to do with the actual product. Let's watch the video. <laughs> Can we hear it? I there we go. Aikido is often translated as the way of unifying with life energy or the way of a harmonious spirit. The primary goal in the practice of Aikido is to overcome oneself. Instead of cultivating violence or aggression, with the Aikido module, you will access the following powers. Choose the power of your opponent. Small signals wrestle over big ones in the Aikido arena. 
<laughs> if everyone's scratching their head, please do. Mm. <laughs> This is why Darren likes this company. <laughs> There's a lot of VCA plugging going on right now. That's how I go to my part bench. This is the Matrix yeah. part. <laughs> now I have been told these sounds are from the module. Kendo, not Aikido, so. <laughs> Super focus mod. Analyze parts of the spectrum with the spectrum follower. This is your ears, people, not your eyes. That's what it's about. Yeah. They got there in the end. Yeah. Now, hand on my heart, <clears throat> apparently the audio from that uh, video was from the module. Okay, so um, if the, the thing is, the first time I watched it, I didn't know that, and the second time I watched it, I knew that, and it actually completely changes the way you watch mm. that video, knowing that it's from that module, and then because you're hearing the um, the, com the side chain compression, you're hearing the yeah. um, the clickless mute switches, uh, so yeah. it's pretty clever. At first, you probably think, "What the?" But the second time, I'm, I'm actually thinking that's a pretty clever video because usually video demonstrations um, show the product, right? They didn't show it right <laughs> until right at the end, and you're thinking, "Wow!" But it kind of makes sense now that you know that. Um, do go watch it again if you if you feel the need to, because I think knowing that it might actually inspire you. Um, <clears throat> I think it sounds amazing that that module. Mm -hmm. That's probably the big point here. Now it's 309 euros. Uh, 11 HP yeah. wide, 24 millimeters deep as a Euro module. Thoughts, please, gentlemen? Who wants to go first? Yeah. Andy does. I'll leave like it to it, the yeah. guys who do. It, yeah. it, it won't sound like that, though, will it? Because it's only processing what's being put into it. So it, it's a series of, of amplifiers and, 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 like I said, side chain compression. Um, to what extent that. You know the, the the voice filtering. I mean that that was intriguing w w with the sound of the voice, but we don't know what the I don't know what the original source was and and what mm. effect it was actually having. Yeah. And and I think that's that's going to be. I mean, just the idea of a, of a, a quad VCA mixer uh, is you know voltage control mixer is actually quite nice in, in itself. The mute switches, if they're clickless, good. Uh, I think it's quite intriguing. I think it's quite expensive as well you know 309 euros is quite a, a chunk for a small mixer but thank you david could be a very intriguing thing yeah could be a very intriguing thing just acknowledging the super we'll chat have to from, wait. from david by the way just why that's oh good. yeah thank you david we'll have to, we'll have to wait for the div kid video to actually find out what it really does <laughs> yeah <laughs> look there definitely there definitely needs to be uh you know more sort of a pragmatic video that shows them actually okay. using the module um i i don't know i'm kind of oddly intrigued by this and i think part of it is because that video has made me oddly intrigued um i like I, the video a lot i i read and about I, I the module before sounds. i watched it 
So um, that might be part of it. Sorry, I'm trying to get you in. Go in. Yeah. I just say I, I, I really liked the video. I thought it was great. And, I, and it's interesting you say, I, I wish they'd actually said up front that it was actually the sounds were, were coming through the module. Um, I mean, would it have made any difference to me? Probably not. But I just thought it sound the whole thing sounded great. I'd like to know what every, what every, what, what else was connected into it mm. to make it. But um, but as a piece of art, that the animation was superb. Mm. It was lovely. Yeah, like every good musician, yeah, a lot of musicians do. would probably say the same <laughs> thing, wouldn't they? And they'd mm. say, "I want to know how you made that album. I want to know what synths you used to make that yeah. sound." So you know, hey, what people put through their gear is their business i guess um mm. <clears throat> anyway i don't know 309 euros for a vca mixer mm, that part of it i'm kind of, i'm a bit mm, but this is typical of eurac and typical of boutique company so sorry bastel but i kind of feel the price is a little bit stingy on that side because it is just a vca mixer uh, i know you probably won't like me saying that but really you can't you know there's an old saying about polishing stuff <laughs> it's and putting a cherry on top of it <laughs> Um, well, if you read the details on it, it had actually other things in it. A little bit. It had an envelope not, follower yeah. with some I can't believe you're control. complaining about that, and yet someone's brought a table so, out. Well, true. A lot <laughs> true. Well, yes. Darren. <laughs> you could put... Yeah. Darren, you've, you've, you've humbled me again. You've definitely humbled me. <laughs> no, in fact, like, teach us, teach us OY's one where we're going wrong in life. <laughs> you can, on the we one hand, the you can have the bastel. On the other hand, you can have the table. But you, table. you can have quite a few bastels for the same table. I reckon you could hide a few bastels under a table too. Well, five of them. <laughs> Just don't turn your bastels upside down. Right, okay. You can have a whole bastel set up. But, but if you notice, it said it had the buddy mixer built into it. If you look at the price of the buddy mixer, it's not super cheap. It's cheap enough. Like I have the Castle products. No, I'm actually a big Bastel no. fan. So. Any the voice of reason. No, so I have the I Castle think... products, and I have the um, Casper Bit Ranger. Have you ever seen that? That thing is awesome. The Bit Ranger is cool. If you haven't seen a Bit Ranger, it's like Didn't a portable say... modular in your hand. I um, think it's so Casper it makes really good products with Bastel. With... I think it said it can be cascaded, but in other words, you it can did. link it together. Yeah. On the, I don't think it includes. Yeah, it. exactly. It, yeah. It, no, it said uh, buddy mix inside. I think of the I think the circuit's a buddy inside the actual unit. Because the buddy's one of their little mixers they have. Um, yeah. So it has some decent circuitry in it. Um and also you know envelope follower is pretty awesome. Not everyone has one of those. And they also added some goodies to that. So I don't know. There's a twenty. Part of the reason it had some there. wacky sounds in there was the Yeah. 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 It's good stuff. <laughs> but also the animation on stands on its own. That could be in an animation festival. And it was pretty good. It, so. it definitely was pretty good. Yes. Yeah, no, that's a, actually yeah. a good point. That but they missed a trick. They should have had product. Steven Seagal promote it, Mr. Aikido. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely should have had him. They definitely should have. But not yeah. the new fat Steven Seagal, the old Steven Seagal. Yeah. Well, they could just use uh, deep fake nowadays, can't they? <laughs> Basically, yeah, yeah. yeah. AI, AI Seagal, yeah. Fantastic. Okay. What else have we got news wise? News wise. We've had that. Thank you, uh, Bastel. I hope you enjoyed our. Why don't we go to this? Um, and yes. I, I do this yes, yes. With, uh, with the utmost respect, um, but it is sad to hear of uh, our good friend and fellow YouTuber, fellow music technologist, fellow awesome person. And he's so, so soon for you to go, mate. But um, it is very, very sad to hear he passed earlier this week. And if you don't know who we're talking about, it is the famous. Dominic Hawken, a.k.a. Mr. Wiggly. He was actually a very big supporter and channel member of my channel. And uh, and I don't know if you guys know that, but I do have a few silent people in the background pushing me along and giving me, you know, the odd nice word of advice. And uh, I did respect that. And he, he's an amazing guy. He's probably one of the best gentlemen out there on the, on the internet. Um, he did have his own... YouTube channel, as we know, called Mr. Wiggly, and he also had his own software slash synth patch type music software type company that you could buy a whole bunch. Of things. Recently, you've launched a couple of new products as well. 
but survived um, by his much-loved wife and daughter. Um, he did pass peacefully amongst his family on Monday, the 6th of February. May he rest in peace. Uh, I'm very sad mm -hmm. to, to bring you that news, but I do think, keeping the theme, I think we should celebrate what we loved about Dom. Who wants to go first? Go, yeah. Go on, Ian. You go. Okay. Well, I mean, I obviously I've met Dom a, a few times, and I was, uh, I'm, I'm to be fair, I'm devastated by this. I mean, and I, I, my heart goes out to Sophia and Lula May and the rest of Dom's close family. Um, I mean, I I know I know it's, it's panc pancreatic cancer, and I believe because I was talking to Jane about this because she was supporting me when I found out last night about this because I was I was I was in tears as you can imagine, uh, and it's one of the most aggressive cancers out there. And apparently, mm. um, you, you, there's almost no warning. He was only diagnosed in early January, I believe. So, you know, it's it it's almost too late once you find out that you know. Uh, but he's, I mean, he he was a beacon of light in our in our little world. I think really, you know, um, one of the most loveliest people I think I've ever met, you know, you know? absolutely. And wherever he is, you know, you know, go big man, really. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's lovely yeah. words. Um, Brooksy, did you want to say some words, mate? I know you felt strongly uh, well, about this. They'll be they'll be similar to Ian's because uh, um, I met Dominic Hawking only twice in person. Um, we feel like we know people because we see them week in, week out on the screen. But when we actually met in person at Gearfest last July, uh, m myself and Jim Clue and Neil Water, Neil Neil drove us down to to Gearfest. So mm. we had an absolutely lovely day. It was. It was it was delightful, and, and to meet up, we met loads of you know fellow people. The first time I met Ian there, I, th I think that was the first time I met you, Ian, wasn't it? We met yeah, there. it was. And, it was yeah. and we we met Dom, and we were all sitting sitting around. The first thing we sort of did, we went we we went to guess where we went? We went to Teenage Engineering. <laughs> yeah, we, we did. We sat there. Photo. We yeah. sat. <laughs> we, I, I, I've actually sent you some photos uh, of that particular moment uh, uh, with. With Dom and Ian, and, and we were sitting at the teenage engineering thing while they were showing off that tiny little mixer thing, which of course we all thought was ridiculous. Then, well, like, it pales in comparison. But he was delightful, you know, a man who just smiled and laughed with true heart all the time. I mean, he, you never saw him without mm. a smile. That he was always laughing his head off at things, and and, mm. and that was great. And then again to see him at. Um, at Synthfest, he was actually busy working on a, on one of the stands. But he it he, he, he was just always so welcoming. He's going to be he's going to be deeply missed by by so many people. And as as Ian said, our our hearts go out to his 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 wife and and Lula May and the rest of his family. You know, so yeah, very very sad, very very I mean, sad news indeed. That that first time I met him, he just gave me the biggest hug. You know, we'd never met before in person, mm. and we, he just yeah, gave like me a that. great yeah. hug. And that, it was, he's, he's, that's that's Dominic all over, really. Yeah. You know? yeah. And I did try and convince him to come to the, the when we went for a curry at Synthfest. I was trying oh, to get him yeah. to come, but yeah. he'd been working on the, store, the stand all day, and his brain was fried. He went, no, I'm just going to go and lie down in a dark room. Mm. You know, um, but mm. no, it was just yeah. Yeah. great times, yeah. really. Yes. A lot of a lot of the comments are mirrored in chat, and I do appreciate everyone in chat who uh, has been uh, rippled by this news because I know a lot of you people know him, um, and uh, we're feeling it too. So, like right now, we have a virtual hold of hands together in solidarity of our feelings of uh, you know sadness, but also uh, very proud of the life that he did leave. Um, mm -hmm. and uh, and I think a lot of us could learn a lot from him and the way he held himself in in all facets of uh, of life as a father, as a, as a synth man, um, even as a YouTuber, uh, everything. So um, yeah, fantastic to to see the lovely comments. Keep them coming through um, because uh, you know yeah. Um, yeah. this will be kept up on YouTube and so is the chat log as well. So um, you know if you feel like you need to share something with us. Um, it's always a good thing to do that. 
um, however hard it is, uh, you know, tear in your eye or not, um, it's 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 worth it's worth the emotion. Um, Darren and uh, Andy, any any words from you guys? I yeah, really unfortunately, I never had a chance to meet him. More. Being over here. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Chris. Any words? From I, you I never met Dom, unfortunately, but. Um... Hmm. Yeah, okay. I um, I know I never met Dominic either, but um, his show was the second show that I saw after seeing your show, Rance, and I was just thinking back to um, a couple of weeks, a um, couple of months ago, um, when I told him how much I liked his show, and I'm just really glad I got the chance to tell him that, hmm. uh, not knowing what was going to happen. It's it's um. It just, uh, it, uh, if anything, it just makes makes you remember. Sometimes, you, when you got something just nice to say, don't don't hold back and oh, tell them when it's a better time. Just tell them now and then. It's t- time is short, you know. Oh, so that that is so that's that's good that's words. all I've that's that's all I've I've got. You yeah. know, don't don't hold back when you've got something to tell someone. I mean, even if you you think you're going to come over a bit gushy or something, mm. not just just tell people. Yeah, it's just. The vibe is, it's just better. Yeah. So, yeah. So Be that's real. all I, that was what I was thinking. I mean, oh, it was cool. And I just, I was so heartbroken for his family. Yeah. Because we, time, time you know, is we kind of got to know is them. definitely mm. the, the point, isn't it? That, I mean, the fact that he got the news in January and then mm, he yeah. didn't even get his biopsy back. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's that quick. Mm. It was that that's quick. So, it just, scary. it just goes to show us how mortal we are. Uh, and it, couldn't have happened you know what i mean like it just it just couldn't happen i i'm still i i'm in disbelief he's mm-hmm. a, he was a top fella um <clears throat> i just i think uh kent has joined us and i'm just going to add him to the stream because i know hi guys i know kent hi kent um, hi kent. Kent. kent was a massive a massive uh friend to dom um do you want to say some words kent um, you know, you know when people say, oh, he was a lovely guy," but with Dom, it was all it. It was just so true. Mm. It wasn't mm. the people placating. He, he was a fantastic fella. I mean, he was here. I think last time he came down was sort of about beginning of December. Mm. Um, and we were making arrangements. We would actually be uh, in business together now. We're going to be building uh, synthesizers, and mm. you know. And then he said, "He goes, yeah, you know, a couple, you know, we talk to each other each day." And he says, "Wasn't feeling well," and I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we thought maybe it's the the medication for the migraines mm. Um, mm. and stuff like that, but. It's the brutality of it. Um, mm. it, it. It was just so. You know, he, he was when he was here, beginning of December. He was the healthiest looking guy. I, I was. I, I, I'd said mm. to him, which mm. seems so ironic now. And I said to him, I said, "Well, look, what we need to do is put into the contract between us um, that you in, you inherit the business from me outright because." There's no way I'm outliving you, and and that sentence yeah. been sticking in my head now for about three oh. weeks. Oh, uh, and yeah, it, um, um, yeah, and it it's been really hard because people saying, "Oh, have you heard anything from about Dom?" And do you know what's wrong? So, no, I don't know anything. Uh, when I had already knew, yeah. it was, so in a yeah. way, I'm, I'm glad it's out because that. That was an NDA I didn't want. Um, yeah, true. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And yeah. and even now I'm I am so gobsmacked about it. Still, mm. I've had sleepless nights and all sorts of stuff. And the thing was, you could go back eighteen months and I wouldn't know who he was if he fell out of a tree. On yeah. He <laughs> yeah. made such an impact on everybody. Yeah, that he came into contact yeah, with. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Um, oh, man. Yeah. Do you remember yeah. when he first came on Sonic State? 
I remember. Yeah. And I and mm. I, it, you know what the f- the first thing that came to me when he first came on Sonic State was he fits right in. Like it, it yeah. wasn't yeah. the split the split second, and he's straight in. He fits right into that. And mm. Uh, mm. I mean that that's that's it was pretty, the kind of guy, pretty incredible. If he was on if he was on a plane with like two hundred and fifty passengers, and the bloody engines packed up, and it started hurtling around to the ground. He'd have everybody sitting in a circle singing Kumbaya and telling each other jokes. Yeah. You know, <laughs> fitted into any situation and just made it better, you know? And. Yeah. I've been feeling so much anger over this as well, you know? Because mm. there's a load of shit bags out there that should have had this, not him. Yeah, can you can't control that, so there's no point having no, anger I, about I, it. Mate, I know, I know. I, I, I've been. It's been going. Don't you gotta let you gotta let that go. That will eat you up. Don't. Virtual yeah, hug, mate. Know. Virtual hug. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah. But if anything can be taken from this, you know, for the people that are left behind, if anything says, if there's something you're planning on doing. Go and do it. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Live every day like it's your The life. enemy is procrastination. Um, it is. Well, mm. Exactly. I mean, that yeah. was that was Jim's motivation for getting back into doing yeah. live music again because of the, the passing of of yeah. one of his dear friends. You know, yeah. he said, "Well, you know, because that was yeah. that was a shock to him." And yeah, it's, it's the old seize the day, isn't it? Because you never know. So, mm. Absolutely, yeah. Jim, Jim's not that. here, but um, big no. big shout out to you, Jim, as well, because I know you just yeah. recently lost someone very close mm. to you as well, mate. So I know you do watch the show. So if you do watch it on the replay, um, take care, mate. We, we're thinking of you too. Yeah. Um, thanks for the nice comments coming in too, and and these really are um, inspired by Dom, like David just said. And on that note, I appreciate all of you so much. Thanks, David. That's so nice of you to say. And uh, yeah. and right back Thanks, at you, mate. buddy. Right back at you. Yeah. 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 It's difficult being so far away. I could never meet the guy in person. But I, I did talk to him for the last year on Facebook Messenger a lot, as well as mm. enjoying his Sunday shows and all the other stuff so much. That I think I really knew the guy. Mm. Even I never I met him in person. He, I can't suppose. He just had this glowing personality and this positivity and... Yeah. infectious energy and it's all the stuff mm. that so many people lack or are fake about it and he was completely yeah. genuine yeah and uh it's just un- unreal you know just an yeah. amazing guy my heart talented really as hell too mate yeah. at the moment i must admit mm. um mm. you know i lost my dad when i was 12 and it has a quite a dramatic effect on your life and yeah right well yeah you know i'm really feeling for her Oh, yeah. I, but the thing is, he, the way he he talked about her was with such fathership and and love, and he just included her. Yeah. And I'm not, I mean, like I'm, I've got kids, and you guys probably don't know a thing about my kids, and I love my kids dearly. But I'm more of a private sort of guy. But he didn't care. He just he was celebrating it, wasn't he? He was he loved. Mm-hmm. You could you could just see how much he loved his his daughter and yeah. and his wife as well. And uh, yeah. it, it was he wasn't hiding from that. Um, by the way, if you are watching kids and wife, I love you guys very much. And it's uh, I, you know, we should say that more often. We, we should we shouldn't yeah. hide. We shouldn't hide because Dominic didn't. He did not. And we, and that's probably something that we should take away. I think. And I have to say, doing you know, having been on Dom show two or three times, doing Lula May's quiz scared the life out of me because I was rubbish at it. <laughs> no. But this and the show was, was yeah. bonkers. But it was beautifully bonkers. It was lovely. Yeah. You know? yeah. I, I, yes. I kind of feel feel um guilt like you do, Kent, because I I he asked me a couple of times to come on the show and um I turned him down because it's like three in the morning for me. And I should have just said oh, what's the big deal? Just, you know, just go on. It's only, you know, a bit of lack of sleep or whatever. I just really regret not doing that because I really, I didn't want to go on there for me. I wanted to go in there because, you know, we just, he was just so mag- magnetic, this guy. He, he was just, yeah. you know, he just, uh, he really just had a presence about him and he just wanted to be part of it. Yeah. 
Yeah, he asked me several times. I kept putting it off because I wasn't ready. And then I said, you know, I should have just done the damn show. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And that's that's what he was like. He was in, he was insistent on it, wasn't mm-hmm. he? So you know, oh come on, just do it. You know, <laughs> it's not going to kill you. <laughs> just that's the way he talked. You know, it's like I know, but I'd give him like every friggin' excuse under the sun. And really, they were. They were just really quite petty. The excuses I was giving, like yeah. lack of sleep, and I got to work tomorrow. And well, I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah. We do be that, a, don't we? Be a man, Rans. And it's perfectly <laughs> legitimate and perfectly understandable. And then when you're in a situation like that, it seems petty. It did, yeah. You know, getting your great. night's sleep before a day's work is is perfectly legitimate. It's not it's not petty, but when you look back now, you'll go, oh, that's an opportunity missed. And that's, that's when we are sad and regret. Mm. Yeah. But, you know, it can't, yeah. No. Oh. Yes. Well, like like Kent was saying, don't don't hold back. Don't say what you're not that you want to say to people. I mean, I lost my mom in my early twenties mm-hmm. to cancer, and I'll never get to talk to her again. So you know, you you've nope. got to just grab the moments when you can. Yeah, it, it's yeah, been me too. it's been a terrible run in the last. Oh, okay, I'm I'm starting mm-hmm. to lose count how many months or years it's been. But there's been a lot of really really good people disappearing from this uh this rock that we live on and uh it's it's sad i mean i lost my sister in december and she was an amazing you know it's my only sister um so you know i i never cry i never cry like i'm like this guy that never cries uh you can't you can't make this guy cry and i bawled my eyes out at her funeral i was sobbing like a little baby um as soon as i played the slideshow and it showed photos of me and her as kids you know oh, i was gone it just it just literally flicked a switch on me and then bang and i had my uncle holding my hand and my mum on the other side holding my other hand and they were like squeezing it tight and that's what sort of brought me back because i reckon i just would have fallen on the floor in a blood ring <laughs> rolling mess of tears um but yeah just having having family around you having friends around you um right now <coughs> You know, when someone like, you know, someone like Dom's gone, um, is the best thing you can do. Friends, we're friends, right? I consider us all friends. Mm. Oh, Have yeah. Us, yeah. Chat to yeah. us. You know, you guys, if you, you ever want to chat to me. You're my friend forever. <laughs> <laughs> if you want some more, mate, just let me know. <laughs> you bought me Tim Tams, man. No, I tell you what, I, I found a place here that sells them. <laughs> Yay! The double coats. <laughs> Are we talking about the double coats? Ten packs. I bought. I bought Fiona ten packs for Christmas. Oh, good. So she's she's quite happy right now with Tim Tams. Well, fat anyway. <laughs> I didn't not, say that, Fiona. I did not say right. that. It was Kent that said that. Um, right. Give him a bit of no, a slap. Right. I'm, I'm immune for her punishment. <laughs> no, but he's a Tim. But he's a Tim Tam a penguin, really. Celebrate Dom's life. Celebrate Dom's life. Yeah. Hmm. And eat some Tim Tams. Wake up call <laughs> to live every day. Yeah, yeah. To the yeah. max. Yeah. Enjoy Good call, yourselves. Do you not be pulled yeah. down by the trappings of the bullshit around you. Yeah. Good call, buddy. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 It's become very poignant. Yeah. I mean, the last week. Hey, so, but yeah. even still, you know, you you had this project that you were going to do with him. Maybe it's worth mm. still doing it to honour him. I would love to, um, if it's possible. That's, that is. I need to. I need to. I need. To, I would need to find another coder. But at the same time, I feel that was the project I was going to do with him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. I, yeah. So there are other. There are other projects I could. Do there are others. Project. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 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 That I, I could pursue at, at some point, but um, no, I, I think that was that was well. What we were going to. Basically, what we were going to do, we were going to make uh, doing an upgrade for the tim- Timberwolf to make it actually a nice sink. Oh, do you want mine? You can it's do a, that to mine. No, it's a, <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're setting yourself a challenge. <laughs> the proto- well, not the prototype. It's not a prototype. It's not even an alpha. It's a load of breadboard on a coffee table. <laughs> but when you play this thing, it sounds like an Oberheim 4 voice. So basically what you're saying is take all the guts of it from the inside and just throw them in the bin. And 
so literally it was, it was using the existing uh, electronics cutting in and adding all the things it needed like an envelope generator for the filter oh. duh um, <laughs> so individual envelopes for the filters in um, and LFO uh, four LFOs with 16 waves each and all this sort of an thing. Oberwolf <laughs> And new, <laughs> and new oscillators uh, and all that. Andrew, yeah. Andrew, Andrew. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Well, so, um, oh, you can, you can have that for free, cunt. Oh, there's, there's your name for it. <laughs> yeah, and, and the thing was, when I when I when I uh, pitched it to Dom, and I said it'll need a lot of pro uh, coding because we need to get a CPU mm. to run all this because um, otherwise it'd just be too much electronics. Mm. We'd still want to keep it small and compact. And he said, yeah, 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 we can cut it. And he was so enthusiastic about mm. it. Yep. Um, and, but he was enthusiastic about everything. Mm. You know? It was just mm. everything was like, yeah, come on, let's do this. Yeah. So. I, I tell you what, I've been waiting for someone to mod the Timberwolf. I've been waiting for someone mm. to do it. So mm. it, that, it, it would literally mm. take off like a rocket. It's a bloody good idea. So, yeah, because yeah. it was one of those things where I took it out of the box, plugged it in, tried it, and went, This is shit. This is crap. This is crap. How could they let this leave the factory and, and show their faces in public? You know, that kind of reaction. Which is unfair, yeah. but at the same time, not unfair. I, I really. tried. Well, the, the Akai tried. Dan videos are pretty accurate. I mean, <laughs> well. I, I tell style. you now, I I completely <laughs> sympathise with Dan because he was thrown into oh, the into the into yeah. the snake pit, and he was said, right, you yeah, guys he... uh, are going to not be impressed with this synth because I'm not, and there's nothing I can do about <laughs> you it. You can see the look on his face when he's demoing. He's like, <laughs> yeah, he's not happy. Yeah. Poor guy. Um, I tried everything <laughs> with that that synth. I, I I honestly tried have tried a lot of things, and about the only thing that it can do well at the moment without it being modded is is unison when you play it with un in unison mode because it does sound pretty nice in unison but even still it's very limited because it doesn't have a proper envelope for the filter and ah uh, it's annoying but yeah it's very anyway. good on a barbecue <laughs> <laughs> roast wool yeah because once in that sense to do well it burn. <laughs> well, well speaking of speaking of his coding you should bring up his other you know snuggle sounds was awesome i actually did some beta testing for him and you guys should go get that because it's a great little app um and then of course incinerator is pretty awesome for mm -hmm. sound design stuff so mm -hmm. go get his stuff please oh here you go a little mm -hmm. plug for sweet discreet there's a matrix um expander i've just put a new front panel on mm. Hang on, let me get full Next. screen. Mm. Full Next. screen, there we go. Wow. Yeah. Oh, it looks that, lush. that was white, cracked, and wow. messed up. There you go. Uh, Nicely done. Although people have attempted to do it before. I mean, this one was done before. But it, oh, it's very, very <laughs> shiny. There we go. Oh, Make it 12. Oh. It's too shiny. Wow. 12. But uh, there you go. Not as shiny uh, as the JDXI. Selena. A little Selena back there? <laughs> Fingerprint heaven. Yeah, that's the Selena synth. Apparently, they're relatively Sel rare. But oh, a, yeah. It's yeah, yeah, it's got labels like. Pick, basically. Nice. So there's built in, um, <laughs> well, we call it a synthesizer. It's a series of filters. Let's not, let's not get carried away. Hmm. And, but they're uh, nice but it's really clever. Yes, it ha it does have a delicious sound to it. I must admit. Uh, no, I think I'd love that. Oh, Ken, I've got to what? ask you while I've got you here. Did you did you see that new Strymon pedal that they brought out? Was it last week? Did you hear about that? Yeah. No. So they've put this. <laughs> it's actually quite humorous. They've put this button on there, which is an ens an ensemble button, right? <laughs> And I immediately thought of you straight away because I knew that you would probably have some, some kind words to say to them about using the word ensemble when it sounded absolutely nothing like an ensemble <laughs> from a proper ensemble, right? Well, if I said to you, what's an ensemble? Uh, oh, he's disappeared. No, he's back. What, what, what oh, would yeah, your back. definition be of an ensemble? 
Uh, well, technically, it is um, multiple choruses. Mm -hmm. um, it's um, unfazed choruses, mm. essentially. Yeah, it's stacked, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Normally, normally about three, three of uh, three choruses. Yeah, three choruses. Yeah. Three independent LFO. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go check out. I mean, obviously, you know, mm -hmm. later. But go check out what Strymon have done with this ensemble thing on their on their latest pedal. And uh, it's called a cloud burst. It's called the pedal's called the cloud burst. <laughs> it's basically another reverb algorithm. Um, but yeah, you'll okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm worried like because it? they're starting to redefine words like ensemble and stuff like that now. Mm. Okay. Um... Do, and they flick the switch and browser to watch this video. <laughs> oh, it's just in just find <laughs> find one of the latest synth um you know gear websites okay. and you and you'll see it on there. Yeah. I think it was okay. mentioned on Pro Synth Network actually, Kent. The, that, um, that, I thought um... it was on James. It was on Geosynth. Was it? Oh, was we it? Right? Oh, it was Jamie, yeah. Yeah. Apparently, the algorithm, yeah, uh, Jamie was saying the algorithm is, is part of Big Sky, but it's just it's one of the Big Sky I knew, algorithms. I, what, I said this. Are they just taking algorithms did, from Big yeah. Sky and putting them into separate pebbles? Yeah. To, you did uh, say that. Just make some yeah. money. Mm -hmm. We agreed. We agreed with you. Yeah. Um, they did have a fart switch. I think you'll enjoy the fart switch. But <laughs> exactly. It, um, but it probably didn't make <laughs> fart sounds, though. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh, dear. It is the most bizarre <laughs> pedal known to mankind, uh, yeah. I think, at this stage. But anyway, I think you'll get it's a you'll get a says, laugh out of that. Mate. It says mezzo piano, and it says forte. Forte. But of course, mm. all these childish people have determined that it says <laughs> fart. I got it. Right. <laughs> it does say fart. It looks like an A. That's because they can't <laughs> type. F O R T E. Forte. Oh, I'm gone. It's got an E on the end. They can't type properly. <laughs> it's we'll, not my problem. We'll, we'll, we'll forget that. We'll forget the yeah. E. Hey, oh, let's okay. go back. Let's go back to news. Uh, where, where did we get to? See you later, Dom. You're awesome, mate. Dom. Um, yeah, yeah. Take care, Dom. Yeah. This thing is. Uh, we we do need to Whoops. talk about this thing. I actually thought this thing was very interesting. Okay, let me That's get my notes yeah. up. Very interesting. This has been talked about uh, for a while on their on their Instagram. The company is, uh, I guess, it's Kiviak. Um, instruments, um, Kiviak Technologies. They're kind of like a cloud slash synth type two sort of pronged company. Um, anyway, so they're bringing out this thing called the Wofi. Uh, it's a French developer and founder um, by the name of Romain uh, Gianetti. And he's been showing this uh, development sort of of this over his uh, Instagram channel now for a while. And it seems to have snuck underneath the radar. And I think Rob uh, Robin Vincent's picked up on it, uh, maybe from someone who <laughs> gave him the heads up. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, and so if you head on over to the Instagram channel, um, which is this button here, and we'll just uh, have a little... So he's posted these kind of interesting posts that kind of form... If you look at it in a grid form, it forms some interesting things. But yeah, sample it, load it, tweak it. Sounds like a pop edit song. Um, you've got to color, color your sound with a classic sampler emulations and player modes. There's not a lot about this, but it's, this actually kind of looks pretty cool. I, I actually like the look of this thing. There's, um, there was an internal electronics version, if I can get my mouse to work. Kent will like this. The electronic picture is there, so you can see the inner workings of the electronics. Um, so this thing probably is some sort of computer chip. Um, you know, don't know what it is. It could be a, an Arduino. It could be a Raspberry Pi. It could be uh, whatever. Um, who knows what it is? But uh, very interesting anyway. So what we do know about it is it has... Um, we'll go back to this view. It has uh, a bit of portability about it. It's got like... It looks to me like a um, key step sort of style keyboard on it i wouldn't be surprised if that actually is a key step in there um it's only two it, octaves, yeah um it's small isn't it but that's portability guys right and uh to the right is a speaker where those uh, hexagonal sort of things are there's a speaker underneath that um it 
has me, uh, stereo connectivity, MIDI, USB, CV gate, and clock. There's um, so they're saying that there's a sampler that has emulations with other samplers and then different player modes with those emulations, which I'd be interested to see. Um, it's got sampling inputs from the microphone built in and also a line in. Um, and there's onboard sound sculpting features that include a filter, a signable envelope, and LFO. And this is all just from those uh, Instagram posts that we've kind of deciphered all this stuff, right? Um, but there's some other things that are really weird. Like, for example, he talks about um, this texture, which he says elevates your sound. What's that mean? And there's an inbuilt sequencer, which I'm guessing is all the, the buttons just above the keyboard. So we need to know more is kind of where we're going with that. But the weird thing is now he's also saying that there's got this... Uh, cloud-based thing um, where you can share your patches through this thing called my.wofi um, and it doesn't surprise me because he's in the cloud business and there's also this weird looking cartridge thing that's on this Instagram post and I want to know what this cartridge is about obviously it's some sort of memory storage thing but do we need cartridges in this day and age I'm kind of intrigued you know mm -hmm. what where does the cartridge sit in today today is sort of thing this is a really really interesting thing and it's kind of got me thinking there's a lot of little snippets of posts and stuff on instagram but what you know what do you guys know about this thing is there is this something that's interesting you it's a sampler that's a keyboard and we kind of are a bit light on those things um is that sort of mm -hmm. yeah, anyone's made me think of the yeah well, I actually quite like the look of it, but I'd like a slightly bigger keyboard. Three octave would have been better than two. Uh, I maybe think of the, the Korg MS1 yeah. micro sampler, hmm. which I used to own and should never have sold, but because uh, you know it was made, it was a bit of a toy, but it was it was really useful, you know. Um, yeah. And that was battery operated, and you know, throw it in a bag and off you go with it, really. You know, made for EMOM. Made, exactly made for him, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. The problem uh, with micro samplers it didn't have modern sampling; it was only stretch sampling. So it's cool. I, I have well, one, it. It was that, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. It's low. It's it's old tech, but uh, it, it had some other cool yeah. features on it. But this one looks cool. It's got granular synthesis with the sampling. Um, yeah. Portable. Um, you know cloud-based of course because everything these days has to connect to the cloud um a good portion of my work is in the cloud these days so. um but uh looks interesting yeah it's colorful yep speakers yep. are interesting i know people don't like speakers and things it's not if it has speakers it's considered a toy instantly like the hs60 mm. you know even yes. though it's without the speakers it's a <laughs> juno 60 juno so. 106 yeah <laughs> Yeah, or no six, sorry. <coughs> yeah. Beautiful. I'm just trying, while we're talking, I'm just trying to tech support some issues with uh, StreamYard for the guys on StreamYard, but I will get it. It's definitely something wrong on my end. There's some sort of thing that's disappeared. So keep talking about this. Darren, what do you think? I, it's, well, I, it's a little uh, portable sampler as I'm, get, as I'm getting. And like you said, it's not that many around um in this sort of vein so like like i think think you said andy perfect for him on this as well um i quite like the look of it but like you said we'll have to have to know a bit more about it and like what's the cartridge thing all about i don't know it's mm. it's interesting it's interesting uh, but it's good for uh, this sort of thing to come out i think you know rather than be um just run of the mill just something a bit odd, a bit different, but like I say, you can pack in your bag. And it, like I say, I quite like the look of it. Like, like Ian said, it's, it's quite interesting. But they still get knobs. a bit more. <laughs> yes, they need to be. Yeah, if it's on the park now. bench, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly, perfect for the park bench. God, my park bench is going to be huge. <laughs> you need a table to go with it. Get that table. Stop <laughs> boasting about your park bench. Mm. <laughs> it won't be a part bench. It'll be, it'll be like you know, a part, part stadium, wall. Darren. Yeah, <laughs> one long bench. It, it, 
It is yeah, interesting. Is there a price, Franz? Is that no, like... not yet. Not yet. No price. No. Not... Is no. that going to be like a touch strip there, or is it? Uh, what? I'm not sure what it is. On the, the screen. screen. What, yeah. Do I have a better version of that? Like. Let me see if I can get the mouse like to go it. over here. Um, I don't know if I've got a better version of that photo. I mean, you certainly can't complain about the sliders. There's quite a throw in those sliders. So yeah, they're not sure. yeah. They pretty long. Yeah, definitely a good range. Mm -hmm. it, it looks I, I do believe I they're say. editing too. Those sliders. They're to do with the the sample edit. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you would you would manipulate the start, the stop, start you know, the loop loops, point, yeah. yeah. Which I think is actually a it's really cool, cool thing. On sliders. Yeah, instead of instead of knobs. Yeah. yeah. Um. Kind of in a way, you think about like you know, Akai brought the MPC key, you know, the sixty one out, um, you know, late last year, and uh, I don't know if I've seen any in the wild just yet. I know if there's a few influences with some, but I don't know if I've seen them sort of hit the shop yet. But um, you know, Akai have got those mini, you know, the the um, what are they called? The MPK key keyboards and things like that and i kind of thought that they missed the boat they should have done like a small a small sort of mpc keyboard type thing and this thing kind of really they way, used to have a little a little small keyboard hmm. with a sampler built into it or something that could play back samples at least i'm sure because battery operated hmm. orchestra used yeah, it, a couple of them it don't was they? a it was a sample player yeah i remember it too but yeah, this thing LPK. this thing is a sampler as such yeah lpk or something like that yeah i remember yeah, it sounds familiar Mm. Yeah, there is, of course. Colour scheme reminds there? me of this guy. Oh, forget this. Looks like this oh, you, you, you're holding that up, and I'm going to say that. Oh, have you got one? Oh, oh. I... Yeah, I've got a spark. Yours, spark. Yours is a yeah, I've, I've got, got a spark hall. Yeah, I've got a spark hall. Yeah, uh, this, this is the full copy one. Does yours have the <laughs> sticky knobs on it? Oh, I haven't no, unwrapped one, it for uh, a while. I probably do. This, is pretty, this one's the fancy one. So. so it probably doesn't have sticky knobs? Yeah. Uh, Not yet. Yeah, mm. <laughs> just wait. It, it yeah. was like two thousand and I don't know, two thousand and fourteen or something, and then the whole world in the synth industry decided that they were just going to use this rubberized paint on everything, and oh, it's it just the yeah. worst thing yeah. ever. Um, hopefully, really they've learned from that. Um, hmm. We have just had Rich Hilton jump into chat. I just wanted to quickly acknowledge that he was yeah. there. Is there, I should say. Big hello to you, uh, Rich. Hi, Rich. Hi, Richard. Hi, Rich. Hi. Thanks for joining in, this mate. Um, we do have Streamyard if he wants to jump on. I don't know if it's uh, if he's in his pajamas or what. What the story is there at the moment, but if he does want to jump on, we can jump onto Streamyard. Anyone else can as well. Um, we have got who we got waiting in the queue. Yeah, we're everyone. There's there's enough enough space for um, a few other people if they want to join in. Beautiful, awesome. Um. Yeah, so that sampler, I kind of, um, I'd like to see a demonstration, of course. That's kind of the next mm. thing we want to see. I would like to see more more information about what it does. Um, yep. I feel the screen may be a bit, it could have been a bit better. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of scratching my head about what that strip is down the bottom. I'll tell you what, I, I say it, it looks big enough for my eyesight after the small ones we've had. So mm. that's a thumbs up for me. Uh -huh. It's the biggest screen that we've had for the past. It's the biggest screen you've had. Uh, bigger than a basket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Awesome. Um, I do oh, have the one... screen's small and it's a clear OLED one. It's not so bad. It's when it's um, a bit of a When small, it's an OLED, yeah. Not so clear. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's much better than... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Small now, the screens. Speaking of uh, nice looking things, I think there is one more thing that we need to look at, and that is this. It's not a new synth. It's just a synth with a paint job. But oh my goodness me, is that a good looking synth? <laughs> like that is that is a thing of beauty. I might be speaking on my own here, but I just feel a bit black. That is <laughs> so much better. I think it looks incredible. No, I think it's an improvement. I definitely think. Yeah. Um, why don't we? Why don't we give Archery a bit of love? Why don't we give him some love and play a video of theirs? Yes, let's. Yes.
anyone is feeling benevolent and wants to buy me one of those, I would love <laughs> you forever. Um, <laughs> even if uh, family are watching. Um, yeah, no, that is uh, a very good looking synthesizer. Um, by the way, the Poly, the Poly Brute is definitely very, very high on the list of something that I want to buy in the near future. I've mm. talked about it before, but hey, Arturia must have thought, you know what, we'll make a black one and see if Rans actually gets the checkbook out a bit quicker. Uh, I am definitely <laughs> dusting it off, people. Black and red keys. Yeah, you just made space for it, right? Well. So. <laughs> just made space. Who wants to talk about the noir? The noir. Wow. Well, yeah. I think it looks great. I'll say something. Oh, it's it's looks great. It's anyway, and it's over. You know, it was on your list. I mean, it's, it's an expensive thing as it is, but... A lot of people who, who've got to really, really rate them. I mean, I know Mark Doty raves about his. He thinks it's, uh, all, you know, one of the very, very best synthesizers, analog synthesizers ever made. You know, and, and it is. Robbie's Robbie's got one. And he he really loves his too. So, and I, that demo, that's. I mean, it, okay, it was it was all a bit Jean Michel Jarre at the beginning, it was. wasn't it? But they're French. They're allowed mm. to be. Yeah. So, and he's uh, got one that, too. It was. Yeah. Well, you well, of course he has. Yeah, mm. really nice. Uh, really, really nice. Looks great. Mm. New, new color scheme. Yeah. So what? You know, just looks great anyway. You know, I would have been interested if they'd done like a, a, a gray and black keyboard or black on black keyboard. That <laughs> unusual. You never ever see that, do you? But I know yeah. the sledge <laughs> did, didn't it? The, the, the black sledge had black, black and gray. slightly less black. Keys. Black, yeah. black and gray. Black, black and, and gray. gray, gray sledge, yeah. 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 And there's, there's some keyboards that have got have got red, haven't they? Black and red. Yeah, Isn't black and red. Korg one? There was a Korg micro. Uh, Korg did, uh, there was a micro Korg with micro, it's more like a pink yeah. color. It's kind no, of pink. Akai did one, didn't they? I'm sure Akai did one. One of their controllers yeah. had black and red keys. Yeah, nice, nice, yeah. nice. Orange um, the wrong choice. Ian, you wanted to say something about the noir? No, no, that's just it. I mean, I think it looks great. It sounds great. I'd like one. But I'd have to lose something to get to buy it, really. I think. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I'd like not, one. not your marbles. Don't lose your marbles to buy it. <laughs> no, no, not my marbles. Actually, my marbles are down here. <laughs> oh, TMI. <laughs> um, any, uh, who else wants to say something? Chris, are you going to get one over there in yeah. uh, my part of the world? I just wanted. I was just going to say. Um, I didn't think uh, when I saw it. When I saw it in uh, total, it's like, meh. But but then I realised it's such a big synth. Mm. It's when you look get closer to it, and you can see it in that video. When you get closer to it, it's like, ah, yeah, that is pretty. Yeah. yeah. But something about being all that stuff in one big panel from a distance, I don't think it's the great way, greatest picture to be putting out there. But I guess I have to. I reckon they should have been going for just like lots of close-ups. Oh, they definitely were. Shot. Oh, they definitely were. Yeah. I just happened to show yeah, that, that that one. Yeah, yeah. no, no. Even on one of the music, um, music uh, gear shows, they, they were doing the same thing, just showing mm. that particular. They, that's always the shot they grab is the yeah the, the complete, big, the wide shot. Yeah. <sighs> but no. Have you have you had to play with yeah. one that they have? Um, I'm pretty sure no. they had one down at down at uh, store DJ. Um, store DJ, no. Yeah. So if you do manage to get yourself down there, have a play with one. Because it's mm. seriously a very, very different experience than what you think it's going to be. What were you doing mm. with it, tactile? Um, it's definitely like that's that's probably what changed my mind about it. If uh, it was actually when I actually went down and had to play with one. They um, and it's different to the Matrix Brute. Um, you think it's going to be the same as the Matrix Brute, but it's not. It's different. It's different because. The way they've engineered it, they've truly engineered it as a poly synth, right? A poly analog synth. Um, we talked about this last week. So, you know, poly analog synths are different beasts to mono analog synths. Um, you can't just grab a whole bunch of mono analog synths and poly chain them together and think it's going to sound like a poly analog synth. Because um, <clears throat> everyone who's done that knows that that's. Hello, Tambor Wolf. Yeah, that's probably not the right way to go about it, right? <coughs> Sometimes it works, you know, if there's software yeah, in it. I'm in, in four built into it. Yeah, like, you know, like a Tetra or something like that might work. But um, in most in most cases, you know, just doesn't doesn't tend to sort of to keep the same vibe. And um, the Polybrute, it, it, was, in, it was interesting because there's a lot of polyphonic synths coming out 
um and for some weird reason some of them tend to just be recreations of previous synths in the past but this i don't know tell me if i'm wrong but this really feels like if someone was to make a modern polyphonic analog synth this ticks the box because i don't think it's trying to be something else it's or it's not taking heritage from something it's uh it, it's truly its how, own thing how would you compare it to something like the mini freak um well mini freaks are kind of a hybrid yeah um very different, yeah, different i know yeah. they're different Future. price points but yeah life poly you know I do like the Mini Freak too, so that might, you know, mm. <laughs> happen as well. Uh, as long as I don't get rubberized paint issues, Archeria. Uh, I'm sick of that. Mm. 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 But, yeah. Um, yeah, who else is kind of getting the vibe the, now? The Polybrute's poly 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 really nice. Yeah. I tried one at Guitar Center. Um, and the Morph A controller is cool, and the Morph knob is cool, so it has a lot of mm. nice... Mm features that some stuff doesn't have but i'm really happy with my matrix brute and the paraphonic stuff so i'm, I'm okay yeah no. yeah and those filters on the matrix brute are good fun aren't they oh it's just this whole thing is amazing yeah yeah just... yeah i mean that that all started really with vcs3 didn't it that whole matrix brute idea was like what can we can we bring out a, an analog synth and do a modern spin on the vcs3 mm -hmm. and yeah and they ended up with the Matrix, and the Matrix is cool fun. Had to play with that too. I'm, yeah, I mean, there's a guy who has a YouTube channel. He just does Tangerine Dream covers of the Matrix Brute, and they're stunning. <laughs> you know, it's so many parts. It's amazing. You know, yeah. Well, you can get the thing to sound like a Mo. You can get it to sound like a uh, a Mini Brute. You can get it to sound like um, something else. So maybe even an ARP. Not really sure what the other filter sounds like though on it, but. Um, yeah, it's probably just its own thing, really. But yeah, the Steiner Parker definitely has that sort of metallic. I love the Steiner Parker. Yeah, I like yeah. that metallicness mm -hmm. about it. It's 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 a cool filter. It's a nice filter. All right, um, we should get on to the next segment, which is this. Does it include tables? I'm going to say more tables. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, you can put it on this one. <laughs> Um, oh, all of these have the been keys for 400. <laughs> all of these have been brought in to us today from Andy. Thank you, Andy. Andy, do you want to no do you want to run with this? Do you want to tell us about this? I mean, I, I some of these I found last minute. I was just laughing my ass off because look okay. at this oh, this guy. one definitely lasts. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's owned by somebody famous and it like his DNA is on it or something. I don't know why it would be so valuable. But um, now this is US dollars, exactly. right? Yeah, because you screenshotted this. So this is in Japan. Yeah. Um, at is it Yossi's gear outlet in Japan? Um, this is a reverb listing, right? Yep, two hundred and thirteen thousand yeah. US dollars. Nice of them to do free shipping. I thought. Um, <laughs> I mean, it is extreme, but the price is quite extreme. So it's. A... <laughs> uh, I can't. I didn't get a chance to get live versions of these guys. Sorry, because um, yeah, running out of time. But let's keep going. Um, What's this one, Andy? Yamaha DX1. Yeah. Where are you, Robbie? One hundred and thirty-five thousand. Yeah. Robbie's yeah. Robbie is salivating right now when he's seeing this. He's probably thinking, "Oh, maybe I could sell mine." But he nice um, mahogany. But you know he won't. Uh, I don't. I don't this think he owns that DX1 though, does he? He's price dropping this guy. Yeah. Twenty-four thousand price drop already. <clears throat> I wonder how long before he drops another twenty-four thousand. I mean. Kenton though he's got he's got half a dozen in his house. <laughs> Kent is sitting there looking at it, going, "You idiot! What?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think this is his favourite segment because he like he could he could just see how many people are taking the P one double five out there in in uh, auction oh. land. Oh, Gray mm. Gray Marvin, that's it, a real one. Gone. Are we getting wow. close to a hundred k? Oh, with the shipping, we're almost at a hundred k. 2600 C Gray Marvin, um, old as me. This, this synth, jeez, doing pretty well. Uh, I can't see it worth that much. Sorry. Um, I mean, only five or six years ago, you'd be able to pick up these things for under ten thousand dollars. So, how can that go up that much in that time? I yeah. don't yeah. think so. That was in pretty good, good condition, find. though. Yeah, it looks nice. It looks lovely. 
looks really lovely. Yeah, I mean, look, people are people watch this segment and go, you know what? Um, I don't mind that there's some of these out there for that price. If you're a collector and this is the only one, and you really want it, and you've got the money, you know, and you're driving around in your Lamborghini, <laughs> yeah, quite. Um, drop it, you know, but click the buy now. I th- in fact, I actually think, Andy, when you did the screenshot, <laughs> your mouse is sitting on the buy it now button. <laughs> Tell us a bit more about that. <laughs> Ooh, just it's subconscious. It's just timing. Uh, I, you know, there's no way. <laughs> I would be in the poorhouse for what, sure. When does it arrive, Andy? Yeah. There's no way. I, I mean, I, I, about I have on the BARP one, so, you know, I, I can't afford a real one. So <laughs> Exactly. Walk. Like me. Pretend. And then uh, in Sonic. Ah, this one's crazy. Fismo. Oh, These are hey. so rare. Um, I mean, my, my yes. keyboard one I bought a couple of years ago was rare enough in good shape, but these are incredibly rare. You never see the racks anymore. Mm. So, and we'll go, do you have one? It's in good shape. It has the manuals. Daniel, tell mm. us. Uh, I bet I bet Wags does. I bet he does. He's got everything. Yeah. He's got more racks. In that sense, it's, is that a fair price because of its rarity? Yeah. No. I would think so. <laughs> no, uh, uh, no, it's a piece of crap, says Kent. <laughs> Don't be silly. <laughs> it's very clever marketing, though, I've got to admit. Yeah. You could chop off. Well, the here's keyboard. the thing: once they added the the FAMO app to it, it's it's totally unlocked everything. So much like the Pro Data Map with a, a command station or a Proteus 2000 module, once you use FAMO with it and unlock all the goodies inside, it's it's an incredible synth. So. I've I've always thought the Fismo was good. Anyway, I mean, no, I know, but when you use that app, it's just crazy. Yeah, but I mean, I remember when it came out, and I thought to myself. A lot of people were rubbishing it when it came out. They thought it was uh, weak or it didn't have enough of this and that. I actually thought it sounded amazing. So, I don't know. So, the, the TS-10 that I have, if you can load custom transwaves in that and do technically more than the FISMO can do. But the FISMO has some certain transwaves that only are available on some of the ROMs on the command station and stuff, mm. kind of buried in the in this data set, that you can fake a FISMO on other gear. Yeah. But... The specific FISMO trans waves that came with it were unique for quite a while until those ROMs came out. Yeah. Yep. I do remember reading about that too and, and actually getting quite excited about the um, the app that you were talking about, Andy, too. So, um, yeah. I don't know. I've always kind of had a little soft spot for a FISMO and I've, I've probably come close to, to hitting the buy now button on one every now and then. Um, but yeah, be nice Talking if about they... the TS10 too. You can also map the mod wheel to the Transwave and do like early granular stuff with it. You're just sweeping through the, you know, it's it's sweeping through the wavetable, but it sounds almost granular uh, when you do like little bits. It's mm. pretty fun. Be nice if someone made a VST like properly, like you know, a proper VST emulation of it, because uh, yeah. it'd be good fun to play with. Like before you sort of invest in that sort of money, you know, because I think what Fismos are going for about a k us now maybe 2k somewhere around there um no they're like uh if you want a good one 2500 minimum usually more oh wow like they three, really should three to four thousand just have shot up wow yeah. mine mine was a steal at uh i think 1900 right <clears throat> okay well so. the last time i looked one was probably only a couple of years ago it was about just over a k for me so that's really yeah, it's good that's it's, gone it's like the fs1r it's just gone whoop, you know yeah yeah awesome all right i think i think that was it uh where are we here yep that was it we are done with thank you um andy for doing the uh price watch Welcome. this week yeah um good fun good fun thanks andy I mean, there's plenty of stuff I could have I could have shown as well, but we'll, we'll leave them for next week. Um, there's some nice auctions at the but moment. But you still around. should have shut the table on it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Wouldn't it be funny if we found mm-hmm. out that, like, they're making that table and they just outsourced it to Ikea or something like that? Right. <laughs> and it, <laughs> and it, <laughs> they have had a relationship with Ikea in the past, haven't they? So yeah. probably... Yeah, they sold some yeah. things. They sold some things there. 
Yeah. Bet the wallpapering looks better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I think what what, I, what gets me right is the logic behind that. It's like they. I came out of actually built that, made that table and gone. They think oh, I thought we'll be able to sell this, and they've gone aha. They think that pe- musicians <laughs> actually have money. You know, have you have you not seen what Spotify pays us? Have you not? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Mm. We're buying we're buying musical instruments. We're not buying tables. You you Spotify. can stop. Hey. Spotify. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Spotify. Oh, please. It's specifically designed for the e-moms, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It definitely yeah. is, yeah. Ken. Yeah. Yeah, but you uh, you get your e-mom table from you get a table B&Q. free. <laughs> It's <laughs> well, yeah, there when you set up, isn't it? <laughs> Tables will be provided, <laughs> but it sounds better on that table. Yeah. Yeah. In twenty in twenty years time, we're, all... we're going to do a, a price might... segment with one of those tables on it. <laughs> it's going to be. Yeah, we're well, going to see at what not, point can not. we can we sell something at a, at a high price. You know what? What's the most pointless thing we can sell at a high price? Maybe they're just working on that. Um, and Darren, the, and they've come Darren, to the table been, now. So, Darren, have you been to their website and had a look at their catalogue? <laughs> <laughs> There's a few boxes <laughs> being ticked already. That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I mean. They're going through them until, until at one point they were literally selling nothing. <laughs> Uh, there were so many memes that we could have chosen this week about that. There was one guy who put up an ironing board. Um, <laughs> I just thought that was brilliant. Uh, Did you see was, the field field one? Yeah, the field field yeah, one. Field yeah. Field yeah. Field yeah. one. Yeah. It was hilarious. So um, <clears throat> yeah, if you don't, if you guys don't don't know about synth memes, a bit of a plug for Jim and his synth memes group on Facebook. Go check them out. There's some some good laughs in that. Um, yeah. Hmm. Awesome. Okay. Chatty's uh, <laughs> agreeing with us. <laughs> I don't know what happened to my chat. Why is it like truncating everything off the bottom there? It's a bit weird. Why are you being so weird, chat? Not you guys, Chatty's, but the software that I'm using. Um, <laughs> QRD and Cast. I have dinner on my sins. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't spill your beer, mate. <laughs> don't spill that beer. Nice to see Grace in the chat room. Universal Vibes Hi, back. Universal Vibe, by the way, is wearing the Guernsey of being yeah. first today. That's always a good, good uh, bragging thing. That's definitely true. Um, I think they moved production from Malaysia to China. Hmm. I think they probably did, mate. And they're making a squillion dollars in profit. How many? I reckon they only have to sell like two or three of those tables, and they're like. Good job, guys. We've made our, we've got our money back now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they're, I mean, maybe they're saying to their employees. Bruce, they use the word they're... for going... mica. They, for mica. <laughs> it's something special. Like a designer substance. I mean, oh. Chris, do you reckon oh. you could squeeze one in your studio there, mate? Oh, oh yeah, I reckon I could. Yeah, mate. I got a, you know, I could have a card. I could have a fold-out card oh table on one God. side and that thing on the other. Yeah. At the expensive side of the room and the cheap side of the room, and only the good music gets done on that side, and the shit music gets yeah. done on this side. <laughs> Wouldn't you be pissed if you scratched it? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> you just drag some synth across the top of it, and you realise that it, one of the little rubber feet had come off, and all this metal scratched the top of the of the formica, and you'd be like. You get birch underneath it, wouldn't you? <laughs> I paid fifteen hundred dollars yeah. for this. Yeah. Have you guys seen those handmade beds from Norway well, or Sweden? They're like starting it. at ten thousand dollars. I have not. Have you bought one? There's a store at Stanford, Stanford Mall, uh, and that yeah. you can. You know, all these celebrities are buying them now, so they're they're like, if you go on social media, I want to be like so and so and buy the stupid bed. I think they started at ten grand. I got I forgot oh. the name of the company, but it's a Norway or Swedish oh, the- company. If they're made by a small bespoke <laughs> manufacturer who cuts everything and puts it all together, you know that's yeah. going to have a cost. I mean, something that's mass yes, but who can a afford factory. a ten thousand dollar bed? You know, rich people. Only celebrities are wackos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, 
So it's, I, yeah, it's it's just as silly as everything else out there that's overpriced. Yeah. I just go to Etsy yeah. Yeah. if I want to buy a handmade <laughs> bed or something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and it's like 50 bucks. Yes. Um, <clears throat> okay, I think we've probably reached the end of uh, stupidness and the show probably in totality. Um, many thanks for everyone being part of it, uh, especially... Well, and, and and not in any sort of specific order, but let's go sort of, especially our streamyard uh, guinea pigs who have come on and decided to to partake in it. Um, next time you uh, are watching the show and you think to yourself, I want to be like Chris and and Kent and that weird window that just keeps going off into oblivion. Oh, that's me. Um, yeah. I want to be like these guys. <laughs> So um, check out the chat log. You will find the StreamYard link. You can join us on the show. Um, but also a big thank you to all of these wonderful people that are next to me, uh, Darren and Andy and Ian and uh, Mr. Brooks. Um, many thanks, guys, for being part of the show. Um, and if I've never said it before, I think I have, but I really do appreciate you guys giving your, your personal time and coming on here and sharing the love on the show with uh with everyone it's much 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 appreciated yeah. so thank you for that we've got nothing better to do um. <laughs> <laughs> no it's a pleasure being here life. it's a pleasure being yeah. life. okay <laughs> i feel kind of weird now <laughs> big thank you to the chatties who have been part Thanks of the show <laughs> uh, we aim big... for awkward now i do want to say when i'm talking about saying thank you and sometimes i forget to do this I want to do this. Big thank you to our supporters. We've got some patrons. And our channel members on YouTube. They're the ones that have got the weird looking green colored nicknames. You can be one too. Beautiful. So big thank you to those guys. Um, as usual, much appreciated for your support mm. on the channel. Um, yeah, next week, um, I am going to do a topic next week, and I thought we could probably start looking at some parts of the synth and talk about it in a little bit more nerdy detail. What do you think? Cool. Sounds good. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what that part of the synth yet is. Might be the USB think, port. The on, the on <laughs> switch. That's on the on switch. Yeah. 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 yeah, the on switch. <laughs> <laughs> Big thank you to uh, Richard, who's given us a super chat. So I am going to Yay. quickly show that one. That was uh, very generous of you, Richard. Mr. Mr. Hiltonius, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, and yes, we are on that page already. And uh, on that note, I'm going to say big big goodbye to everybody and enjoy the rest of your, your weekend and the week, of course, and we'll see you back yep. here next Take Saturday. Say goodbye, guys. Yeah, all the best, guys. I'll take care. Bye, Bye. Bye everybody. Bye. Yeah. Take care. Bye-bye.